In today's module, we will discuss Boolean operations. These operations were invented by a scientist known as George Boole. And to honor his name, these operations have been termed as Boolean operations. So to start with Boolean operations, you need to imagine that 0 means false and 1 means true. And these are well-known Boolean operations which we will be learning in this module. And or exclusive or not. So these are four basic operations. And you should recall from your from our previous module where we discussed about search engine techniques using and and or. And we will be revising in the next slides as well. So in the AND solution, in the AND boolean operation, so we have two inputs. So these two inputs are here. For example, 0, 0. So if both inputs are 0, you will receive an output of 0. If either of the input is 1, you will either of the input is 0, you will receive again 0. And if both of the inputs are 1, then you will get your output as 1. This means that to get an output of 1 or to get the results, you should have both of the inputs as 1. So for example, I give you an example. Like if you say, that if Shahid Afridi plays and Pakistan wins. So these are two statements. So if Shahid Afridi plays, that will give you 1. And if Pakistan wins, that will again give you 1. And then the whole statement will give you an output of 1. Similarly, the OR operation or Boolean operation is have different version. So for example, in this OR operation, if you have any input as 1, you will receive 1. So it cares to produce an output of 1 when any of the input is 1. So this type of queries we have also performed in search engines in the previous modules. When we gave two queries, and in between the queries, we wrote OR or we wrote pipe sign. So when we wrote these symbols in between two terms, then Google had returned us those results in which either of the terms were present. And in the case of AND, both terms should be present to form an output of 1. Then there are two other operators of boolean operators one is known as exclusive or and another is known as not not is very simple if you give zero as input it produces one and if you give one as input it produces zero so in computer science we say it as toggle so whatever you give it produces the reverse output. So for 0 it produces 1 and for 1 it produces 0. And here is another interesting operation known as exclusive OR. In exclusive OR it produces the output of 0 when both inputs are same. So whether they are 0 or they are 1 it produces an output of 0. And exclusive OR produces an output of 1 for those inputs when both of the inputs are opposite. So either 1 is 0 or other is 0. So you can also say that exclusive OR produces an output of 1 or can be used in such situations when you say that I need an output of 1 when either of the inputs are 1 but not both of the inputs are 1. So let's try to solve an example. So for example, if I have listed A 
زیرو زیرو ون ون زیرو ون ون زیرو اینڈ بی ایز ون زیرو زیرو ون ون زیرو زیرو ون سو اف آئی وانٹ ٹو فائنڈ اے اینڈ بی سو یو نو زیرو ون وڈ مین زیرو وی ول پٹ ون آن آل آف سچ کالمس ویئر بوتھ ان پٹس آر ون so only here the input is one so we have put one here and all other inputs would remain zero because in and what we have learned that both inputs should be one and if we perform a or b so it will give you one if either of the input is one so here b is one it will give you one it will give you zero for those where both of the inputs are zero so there was only one condition where both of the inputs were zero and the result is this and then if we want to perform a exclusive or b so you have learned in exclusive or that when both inputs are same it produces zero so can you see where are the both inputs are same here both inputs are same and none of the other inputs are same they are different so it will produce one for all other inputs and if you say want to compute not of a it will convert zero to one zero to one i am converting from a and this one will be converted to zero one will be converted to zero one zero zero one and similarly not b would be this one will be converted to zero one one zero zero one one zero so if we conclude today's module we have learned variety of boolean operators like and or exclusive or and not and we have done different examples and practical exercises that how they are performed and we have also seen the logical gates the symbols of logical gates which are representing each of and or exclusive or and not 